Hey guys, Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this new little broken movement mechanic that you really should learn before Warzone 2 comes out. Warzone 2 comes out in officially a week from the release of this video, so now is the time to start getting ready for it and start getting warmed up. We're going to begin this video by having me show you what it looks like from your enemy's perspective. So what's going on here is someone is laying down and then they're engaging attack sprint from laying down. Let me now show you what that looks like when you're actually doing it. So the key thing is you're going to lay down and then you're going to press the sprint button down all the way, even if you're using automatic tax sprint. If you're on controller and you're using automatic tax sprint or you're on PC and you're using automatic tax sprint, you still have to press the sprint button the manual way to get this effect. Because when you do this, you have a little bit of a glitched animation. It doesn't show you properly standing up like it normally should. And instead you have this glitched animation, which allows you to shoot really quick and do other movement combos out of it. If you want to peek a corner in Warzone 2, this is the new preferred way to do that rather than doing a bunny hop, a slide cancel or anything like that. Movement in Warzone 2 is going to be much different than Warzone 1 and things like bunny hopping and slide canceling have been essentially removed like they were in Warzone 1. There are still variations of those but they're not the same at all and if you want to peek a corner you need to learn tactics like this and also the dolphin dive cancel. Now another thing I really want to talk about is I don't do this in multiplayer guys. I really don't. I do it sometimes when I'm trying to push a point or if I know someone's around the corner and it does work occasionally, but because you die in like three, four bullets, it's not that good. But if you're playing Warzone and people have armor plates and people take more bullets to kill, this is where it's going to be super effective and you're going to find a ton of success doing this. Moving on into the second point I want to cover in this video, you need to learn to combo this movement with other movements. So after you learn to lay down and do the tactical sprint, you then need to learn how to combo it with things like a drop shot and a jump shot. So what you're seeing here is the drop shot. What I do is I do that little lay down, engage in the tactical sprint, then immediately after hitting my sprint button, I hit the crouch button twice to lay down essentially. And this makes it so you're so tough to hit because you have that glitched animation. Your character essentially never stands up, so they have to be aiming at the floor, and it gives you the instant ability to ADS and shoot. This is easily one of the most broken movement combos that you can learn and it's going to win you a ton of gunfights in Warzone 2. The other one I'd really recommend to learn is learn to do a jump shot after doing this. It's really simple. All you're doing is a normal jump shot after doing a lay down into the tactical sprint and it's really broken. If we go back to zooming in on the clip where I did this little jump shot maneuver, you can see how broken it is. If you want to be able to break people's camera and aim assist like you did in Warzone 1, you pretty much have to be doing movements like this because things like bunny hopping and slide canceling, they aren't going to work in this game. But if you want to cover the horizontal distance that you would get with the bunny hop and break that person's camera and aim assist, you're going to have to do this little movement technique or else you're just going to get killed. I can't stress it enough guys. You're going to have to adapt and you're going to have to start learning things like this if you want to have similar movement capabilities as you did in Warzone 1 and if you just want to find success with the game overall. You're probably going to die a little quicker in Warzone 2 than Warzone 1. Guns are probably going to feel a little bit more powerful. You're going to have a little less margin for errors and if you can just cause your opponent to miss one or two shots, you're going to end up winning gunfights and I can't stress how important a movement technique like this is, is going to be for that. If you can learn to come around corners being so much tougher to hit than if you just strafed out all slow, aim down sight, you're going to win a ton of gunfights. But the other thing a lot of people don't realize, if you jump shot in Modern Warfare 2 and presumably for Warzone 2, it increases your aim down sight speed by three times as much. So if it takes your gun 50 milliseconds to aim down sight, and then if you jump and try and aim down sight, it's now going to take 150 milliseconds. This means that if you're trying to aim down sight and play like you did before, it's going to be way different. You can still jump shot. You just saw it there. I broke that guy's camera by hitting with the nice little almost even bunny hop thing. But it's not going to be the same. 
You're going to have to adapt. You're going to have to learn these new movement techniques because as I said before, you're going to die a lot quicker. The margin for error is going to be a lot less and learning to make your opponent miss one or two shots is going to make the difference between you being a good player and then you being a great player. With Warzone 2 right around the corner, a lot of people want to get good. They want to be good, they want to be better, they want to have a higher KD than they had in Warzone 1, they want to prove that they got better, they want to reset on their KD, and this is their chance for that. So what you need to do is you need to embrace things like this, come into Warzone 2 ready to be a good player, come in with the mindset that you're going to improve and become a better player, and just apply things like this to your gameplay, and you're going to see an instant improvement. If all you do is go into a private match, sit there, lay down, and then just sprint and practice the movement, then practice calling with the jump shot, the drop shot. If you just practice that for a week, for 20 to 30 minutes every day for a week, you're going to learn it. And once you do that, you're going to have a distinct advantage over your opponents who aren't doing this movement. These are the things and all the little differences that really add up and make the difference between average players, between good players, between great players, and between the absolute best players in the world. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys really learn this whole movement thing. If you have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments and I promise I'll get back to you. It's been Ryan. I hope you have a good day. I hope you're excited for Warzone 2. Peace.